Black. Orange. That's the new Diplomat Elox Matrix. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I have the Diplomat Elox Matrix in the new version here. After the well-known green variant, this pen is now also available in orange. Diplomat was kind enough to provide me with this fountain pen for this review. As known from Diplomat, the fountain pen comes in this dirty packaging. The aluminium lid is shaped to enclose the interior well. Inside we find the Elox Matrix. In the layer below are ink cartridges and a warranty card. The fountain pen itself is striking. Not only the color, a black barrel with orange engravings. Also the line pattern that is vertically and horizontally intersecting. And it's interrupted again and again. At the end of the cap is a lettering Diplomat and Germany in white. The finial is not only rounded, it is also decorated with the Diplomat logo as always. The barrel end is tapered. We have a clip-on cap here, but it sits quite firmly on the fountain pen. It doesn't really require any force, but it doesn't just come off either. Another cap, we have a metal grip section in just the orange of the engravings. The fountain pen, as with most Diplomat fountain pens, is equipped with a large nib. By the way, the fountain pen comes with an inserted converter right away. As usual, let's take a look at a few details. We have here the engravings. These are real engravings and not embossed. This is clear in some of the details. The lettering is laser engraved. And also wants a look at the nib. This is neatly crafted and has a diplomat typical ornaments. You can also feel the engravings with your fingers. Not negative, but it is clearly not in print. The pen itself lies well in the hand, even for larger hands and is, thanks to the barrel of aluminium, also not as heavy as other fountain pens made of metal. With the cap posted, the weight is even distributed excellently for my taste. As is the position of the pen in the hand. Still, I'm the person who tends to use the fountain pens without the cap posted. But let's take a look at how the fountain pen writes. We have here a nib that moves quite smoothly over the paper only with minimal feedback. By the way, I have a broad nib here. This one has only minimal line variants, but that's also rather typical of Diplomat. The ink filled in is Kaweco Sunrise Orange. Overall, I find the writing behavior of the Elox Matrix very pleasant. A smooth glide. But let's take a quick look at the Matrix, Elox and Aero side by side. One basic shape. One basic shape but three writing instruments that look different. And that brings us to the size comparison. I have the Matrix here with the Visconti Homo Sapiens. A Palette Justice 95, a Pelican M800 Blue Blue, an Estabrook SD Oversize, and a Lamy Safari. We have fountain pens here that are about the same length, also with a cap removed. But with a cap posted, we have the matrix here, which is the shortest in the comparison. In the second comparison, here it is with the Waldmann Commander 23, a Stettler Initium Lignum, a Kaweco Dia 2, 
an auto hood design 04 and a cross century 2. Again, we have roughly the same length, but that across the board. Overall we have here, in my opinion, a fountain pen that should be excellent for many people. Because of the shape, the fountain pen sits well in the hand, regardless of whether they are large or rather smaller. The weight distribution is good. But I think that's logical, the Matrix has a bit more weight than, say, a Lamy Safari. Even though the case is aluminium, that's obviously heavier than lightweight plastic. I still find it to be quite light. For some, I'm sure the grip section will be a drawback. The group that doesn't like a metal grip zone is there after all. For others, however, we have a grip section here that is sufficiently large. The cap also holds well. It is even quite easy to open with one hand, and yet it holds well enough. Engravings are well done. The crisscross work is certainly not the easiest thing to do, but it is neatly executed. As mentioned before, you can feel the engravings. Not negative in any way, but it is just really an engraving. And the barrel is anodized, to be more precise, even twice. Because both the black and the orange are real anodizing, and thus durable. By the way, the nib is available in the thicknesses from extra fine to broad. Also in a 14 carat 2 color version. And since this is now the new color version, there is of course also the original color version, in black green. As it also fits well according to the name. But what do you think of this fountain pen? Do you like it? Do you like aluminium fountain pens? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to Diplomat for sending me the test sample. And especially to you guys for watching. As always, please leave me a subscribe and a like. That would make me very happy. See you next time.